I'm Jason Gayheimer, Bex PFR Operations Manager with Bex Hybrids. With me today is Rich Sliff of Sliff Precision Ag, and we're here to introduce a one-of-a-kind, multi-row width, multi-hybrid planter project. Bex has done a lot of research over the years with multi-hybrid planting, row width, and population studies, and we found a lot of different things throughout the years. We found that multi-hybrid planting has a great benefit at times, and other times not so much. Whereas with row width and population, we've utilized 30 inch rows, 20 inch rows, maybe even 15 inch rows, different populations. And we still find where the narrow row can provide an advantage sometimes. And there's still sometimes where that traditional 30 inch row at different populations is going to be that economic optimum. So what we want to do with this new planter project is we want to be able to take one planter, test all those things and be able to identify which yield zones, soil types, that we can really maximize profitability for the farmer in terms of which row spacing to use, which population, which hybrid, and that kind of led us here today where we are with this planter. And so what we did is we partnered with Harvest International, Precision Planning, Schliff Precision Ag, Yetter, Surefire Ag to be able to build this type of planter to do that testing. So Rich, why don't you tell us a little bit about what this planter can do? Okay, Jason, the planter is set up with Precision Planning's SRM infrastructure. So that what that means is we have the ability to go multi-hybrid, we have the ability to go VIPI HD, mm -hmm. which gives us uh, row by row fertilizer control. So this planter is set up with the Delta Force, which you can see the cylinders in the back here. So we've got individual downforce control row by row. We've got individual um, fertilizer control and then we've also have multi-hybrid seeding so we can change our hybrids on the go uh, between hybrid A and hybrid B. Then within that we're also set up on 10 inch row spacings that we can also change on the go from 10 inch to 20 inch to 30 inch spacings depending on the management zones that are set up in the prescription so we have the ability to do variable rate seeding, variable rate fertilizer, a multi-hybrid so we can change hybrids on the go and we can also uh, change our row widths on the go and we can do all this with a prescription through the 2020 seed sense monitor. Yeah, so this planter is first of its kind in that aspect. We've built, previously partnered with these, these same partners on a, a 20 versus 30 inch planter, uh, but that planter, you can't, you can't adjust anything on the fly. Nothing moves, um, you're, you're stuck at 20 or you're stuck at 30 on different parts of that planter, where this planter, uh, we won't be moving anything on the fly, but we will have to where it can plant the 10 inch rows and then certain rows may shut off to be able to plant the 20 inch configuration or 30 inch configuration. And so that really puts this planter in a category of its own to be able to do that and have the multi-hybrid uh, V-set select meters on here as well. So Rich, I know you spent uh, at least a couple weeks here of, of building this planter and, uh, and, and Rich partnered with us a long time ago when we started multi-hybrid planter. He actually helped us build the first multi-hybrid planter project there. And so Rich, with this planter, what was different? What, what has been different for you that you really haven't done with any planter that you've built over time? Well, that's a good question, Jason. We, we've got several things that, that are going on. Actually, the, the 10 inch row width has been a challenge on itself just because of the narrow row units, everything's gotta be fit in there just snug. There's not much room for any leeway as we've only got about an inch clearance here between our row units and some of the moving parts. So because it is a first of the kind planter, we've got quite a few custom built uh, bracketry, figuring out where to mount the SRMs, where, where we can mount the V-Apply modules to, to get everything to fit in and, and to make it look like a professional well done job as well. Yeah, and so one of the questions we've got um, throughout this planter project, and we've asked ourselves this question as well, is, is it practical? Um, you know, so we started thinking, okay, there's gonna be a lot of row units on here. There's gonna be a lot of weight to this, a lot of moving parts. And, and we got to thinking about it. And there, if you think about the twin 20 inch configuration, uh, that's a commercially available planter now. A lot of guys are switching to that type of row configuration. And this planter actually is not any more weight or row units than a twin 20 inch planter. It's just perfectly spaced 10 inches. And then we will have rows that will turn on and off to give us those different 10, 20, 20, 30 inch uh, configurations on the fly. Uh, and we'll do that through uh, Precision Planning's 2020, uh, everything through Prescription Map. Uh, and we'll be able to put test blocks throughout our, our fields of testing to see where we can maximize our yields 
uh, with these different configurations. And so we're really excited about this with corn, and that's really what, what started it, but uh, we're really also excited about looking at this with wheat. And so one of the things that we are thinking about uh, trying to, to implement uh, here fall of 2017 is usually utilizing the 10 inch configuration of this planter for planted wheat to where we can look at 10 inch planted wheat versus 15 inch planted wheat versus seven and a half inch drilled wheat and do a row width population there on wheat. And then we come next spring of 2018 where we're gonna dive into corn as well as soybean testing with this planter. So check us out on Facebook or Twitter or comment below using hashtag AskPFR. Thanks, have a great day.